Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Path. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is Volnhub's EVM1 virtual machine. So, I always want to put a disclaimer out there. Anytime we download any of these VMs, make sure you have this on a network that's segmented in your lab. You don't want to put these vulnerable systems out there on the internet or anything like that. And this is strictly for educational purposes. Anytime we're using these techniques, these tools in Kali Linux, just make sure you use this on systems that you have authorized use to do so. Because you can get into some trouble if you're trying to run scans on systems that you don't have authorized uh, permission. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What we're going to be talking about is compromising the system, capturing the flag. This is like a little walkthrough for the EV, EVM one virtual machine from Vonehub. And I'll show you guys how to get it, download it, import it. You know, I haven't done anything yet, so we'll do this whole walkthrough together. So if you're ready, let's get to it. All right, guys, so now we're on my desktop. So this is the virtual machine that we're gonna be utilizing from Vonehub. So if we just go here, it's EV1. And I downloaded the virtual machine, it's already here. If we just double click on this, minimize that, and let's minimize that for now. And this is the virtual machine that we're gonna be utilizing. So let's just hit import. And that's gonna be importing into VirtualBox, okay? So once it's in VirtualBox, we'll be able to configure the networking so it's on the same network as our Kali Linux machine, and then we'll go through some of the uh, configurations, okay? So just give me one moment while that's loading up. All right, so I wanna right click on here. I wanna to go to settings really quick. For the network, I wanna go ahead and put this on InfoSec Pat Lab Network. Of course, this is all in my setup in my house. So remember, these machines strictly for educational purposes. You're gonna run these tools. We're gonna show you some penetration methodologies, you know, scanning the systems, enumerating them, exploiting them, escalating the permissions. So <clears throat> we're gonna go into that. So let's hit okay here. And let's just go ahead and power this bad boy up. And once this is powered up, we should be able to scan. We're gonna do a net discover on ETH zero in our Kali box. So essentially it should be on that same network. So once this is booted up, we'll probably just get like a login screen, but we'll give this a moment. And then I'll move it to my other screen and I'll make my Kali machine full screen so we can get the full effect, all right? So let's give this a moment. Perfect. So as you see here, we have a login. So now I can just pull this over. I wanna pull it over to this other screen that I have here. And I wanna make this full screen, all right? <clears throat> so first things first, just make this bigger. We're gonna do some I'm going to put sudo su so I can I can run any let me just make this a little bigger so I can run everything in root okay so the first things first we're going to do is run a net discover now we're just going to do a network scanning and then we'll run an nmap scan all right so let's do net discover and before we do this let me not, let me do an if config on ETH zero. And we can see my IP address here is 172.16.1.6 on a 24 bit subnet mask. So we can just do net discover now and on that IP network, right? 172.16.1.0. So once this is populated, it should give us the IP address and hopefully we can get the IP address of this this machine over here, the EVM VM. Okay, so we'll give this a second. And once we have the IP address, then we'll run an Nmap scan. 
The MMAP scanner is going to do a network mapper. We're going to do like an aggressive scan with a dash capital A with the IP address. We can run the whole subnet, but we want to specifically get that IP address for that system so we can just target that machine. All right, so we'll give this a few moments. And <clears throat> so I have a, uh, a few, few steps that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to open up a text editor. Okay, so this is how I like to do my stuff, right? So the first thing is network scanning. Okay, that's this is step one, okay? So one, and then, and we're gonna do, we did net discover, and then we'll do nmap scan, okay? With the IP that we find, okay? So the second thing we'll do is the enumeration, but we're not there yet. So let's just minimize this. All right, we can control C this. So if, if I was to guess, dot 16 is the address for our EVM machine. So let's do an nmap, dash capital A, and let's paste this. And we should get some, excuse me, some results shortly. And the results we should see is the ports, the services, the state of the port, the version, the whole shebang, all right? So let's open up this again. And I just want to, I just want to put down my, uh, my steps. All right, we'll look at that in a second. And the next thing is we're gonna do enumeration. All right, and then the first thing is, we'll go ahead and check IP in browser. If I can spell browser. All right, and then, then we'll check out some other things. But, but, but let's look at this result real quick. All right, so we see here that port 22 is open, which is SSH. The version is open SSH 7.2p2 Ubuntu. 53 for DNS, so in domain services, port 80, 110 for pop, so maybe it has some email stuff going on in here, okay? 139, net, uh, net BIOS, and then I'm, uh, IMAP, so 143, all right, 445. So we have, some, we, have, we have some interesting stuff, okay? So now let's go ahead and see what's out there. Let, let's go open up a web browser and let's go ahead and paste the IP address. Let's make this bigger. Okay, so it works. We can see here, okay? So now down here is something interesting. You can find me at slash WordPress slash I'm vulnerable web app. So that's telling me that this is probably a WordPress site. I don't know yet because we haven't really dug deeper, but if I was just to do something like this, wp-admin, all right, they got me, okay? But this is why we're gonna go ahead and dig deeper, all right? We'll, we'll use uh, like Durbuster and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open up a new, uh, uh, we're gonna open up a new uh, terminal window, all right? And let's do sudo su so I don't have to keep running things as sudo. So first things first, what I want to do is run a dir, okay, HTTP, and then the IP address, okay, and let's see what this thing finds, okay. Let's make this bigger, okay. So we see here there is a WordPress Okay, so you can see this, this thing is gonna go crazy. Let's stop this for now, okay? Let's focus on this directory right here, okay? So we have a directory called WordPress. So let's copy this, and let's throw this in the browser, okay? Let's see what we got. Maybe nothing, maybe something, I don't know. 
it looks like there's something that's going to come up, but it's taken some time. So while that's cooking, let's continue with our enumeration. Okay, so let's go back to here. We can see a whole bunch of see WordPress slash WP admin. So there is other directories out there. Okay, so we know it's WordPress. So we're going to use a, a scanning tool, WP scan, which is for WordPress scanning. Okay, so WP scan. Ignore everything else because URL and then my HTTP. Uh, what is what, what I can do is probably just paste what I just had because we, we know the directory that we want to check. Okay, all right, so I'm going to run some switches in here. Okay, so I'm going to do dash E for enumerate AT. Okay, dash E, AP, dash E, U for user. All right, so let's see what we get back here. Yes, that's fine. We can update it now. I haven't probably ran it in a while. So let's see what this gives in a second. Hopefully it gives me something, right? So <clears throat> we'll, we'll let that do its thing. So what, uh, what am I doing here with the dash E, dash A, at, blah, blah, blah. So pretty much what this is telling WordPress or WP scan to do is enumerate. And then the, the AT is all the themes, all the themes in WordPress. And then AP is all the plugins. Okay. And then the user, excuse me, and the dash U is for the users. All right. So now this is going to go do its thing and see if it found anything interesting yet. We found some headers, XML, RPCs, WordPress rename. So nothing too interesting quite yet. I wonder, I wonder if it's gonna find some users so then we can enumerate the user with a password. All right, so now it's trying to brute force some stuff. So let this continue. And once this is done, all right, cool deal. Let's look at this now. So the WordPress version is 5.2.4 identified. It's insecure. And if we come down, okay, perfect. Users identified. So we have corrupted underscore Brian. All right, so this is the user on this system. So on the WP admin, we, we probably have to brute force this with a password list, okay? So how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna show you that in a second. So I think I have, let me just do an ls really quick. cd to desktop, ls, and I think I have the rock you. Okay, so if I cat rock you.txt, I have this crazy word list that we're gonna try to crack that password. Let's see if that password's in there. It may not be, but usually with these CTFs, since people, you know, since the creators know that we're probably going to end up using the rocku.txt for brute forcing, they probably have the password in there. So only one way to check, right? Just give it a go. So I want to do a PWD really quick. All right. So let's go back to WP scan. Okay. And what I want to do here is I want to erase some of this. And I want to do a dash U for user, right? And then I need to go back up because I didn't copy that crap. Ah, crap. Uh, all right. So I think I may have to do this again one more time because I didn't catch the guy the user, I should have copied it before, but uh, it is what it is. So I think it was like corrupt, corrupted underscore Brian, but it was like C zero R R something. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. So we'll give this a second. Well, multiple seconds. So 
So hopefully everyone out there is uh, enjoying their summer and doing all the good stuff, you know, learning, you know, continuing your education. You know, I enjoy doing these videos. It's fun. Keeps me, keeps me busy. You know, keeps the, the brain fresh doing these little, little challenges because I don't do them all the time. So it's, it's fun. And uh, so we'll give this a moment. Now it's gonna start enumerating the users. Once it enumerates that user, I wanna copy that user so I don't have to do this again. So we'll give this a second. So pretty much from, from when I'm gathering from this challenge, okay, it's a, it's a WordPress and, and we'll probably have to find out the, 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 the password. All right, let's, let's just keep going. All right, so we have this user. Let's copy this. And let's go ahead and do WP scan. Okay. And we're going to do a dash big U for user. Okay. I want to paste this guy. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to do dash capital P. And then the password that we're going to utilize. Which is going to be, I'm not losing this. So give me one second. Let me just do this really quick. So what I'm going to do here is copy this. Oh, you know what? Let me just do this really quick. Sorry, guys. All right. So let me copy this. Paste it here, and then we'll do slash rocku.txt. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I'm going to set the URL, which is WordPress. We found this user. We're going to use this password to crack it. All right, so let's hit enter. And we'll give this, uh, you know, let this go down its merry way. And once this user password has been found, it should give us the results. And once, we, once we're able to have that password, we should be able to exploit it next, okay? So once, uh, we'll give this a few moments. And this is probably gonna be a little, let's see how long this video has been already. That's 16 minutes, probably gonna be a half hour video. Usually these challenges are like a half hour but whatever, we got to hang out for a half hour, right? You get to see my face. So, well, you can just fast forward it. Doesn't matter. So we'll just keep, you know, let this go on. Hopefully it finds some combination. There it goes. Now it's going to start performing the password attack on the WordPress login. So it's attempting that, first, that, that, note, that one user. So it's going to go through, you know, a, you know what is that, 14... 143 million or 14 million 343,392 passwords. So we'll see once it finds it. I don't know when it's going to find it, but it'll find it somehow, sometime. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be here all day. But while this is doing that, I'm going to pause the video so it's not too, too long. I'll let this do its thing once it finds it. I'll resume, okay? Because I have no idea how long this is gonna take. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, that was like another five minutes or so, I think. So we see the, the password here, it's found. So the password is 2499-2499, all right? So now what we're gonna do is try to exploit this, all right? So we're gonna open up Metasploit and see if we can try to exploit this with a, uh, with an exploit. So the exploit I want to use is probably, I, huh? let me go out there and check this out. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the, uh, the, the WordPress thing. So now if we did WordPress here, WP admin, we should probably get like a login screen or we'll login here, but that's fine. 
let me, because um, <clears throat> this is the way we're going to learn this, right? So it's the WP, I think it's the admin shell upload, I think. Let's just look at this exploit really quick. PHP, show targets. All right, let's go check this out. Let's go see what we got here. And uh, I don't want to kill this because I don't want to lose anything. Well, you, <coughs> excuse me. We'll use this bad boy to. Uh, so let's do MS console. And what we'll do is we'll search for that. Man, I'm gonna sneeze again. Hopefully I'm not getting sick. All right, so let's just give this a moment. All right, all right, perfect. Now this is up. So let's go ahead and search really quick. Uh, what is it, WP underscore admin. All right, right here, this is the exploit. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. So let's copy this, whoops, not that. Right click, copy, and we're gonna go ahead and use, oh man, paste section, okay. So now we do show options, and we can see some of the options here, okay. We can, we're gonna set the R host to the, uh, to the IP address. We're gonna set the target, and all that good stuff. So first, let's go ahead and set the R host, okay? And that's 172.16.1.16, I think. Yeah, dot 16. All right, so let's go back, uh, back there. All right, so 16, that's perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the URL, uh, set target URL. So let's set target URL, URI, whatever. So now we're gonna do slash WordPress, okay? Because that's gonna be what we're gonna be targeting, right? Because it's the IP address slash WordPress is what we're gonna target, and that's where we found that information with the username and password, okay? All right, so now, the next thing is set username. So let's set the username. And let's, uh, thank God I didn't lose this. I would have been lost. Let's copy this guy. Let's paste this thing in here somewhere so I don't lose it. All right, so let's go back here, paste it here, okay? And next thing we're gonna do is set the password, all right? So set password, and the password was this. Paste the section, okay? All right, so now we just do show options really quick. So we can see all of our uh, current settings. We have our password, we have our remote host, we have our target URI, which is for the WordPress application, and we have a username, right? So now let's try to exploit it. See if we can exploit this bad boy and see what we get. And while that's going, I want to take a drink of my tea. It looks like we got some action, okay? It looks like interpreter. All right, cool deal. So now it looks like we have some stuff. So let's do an LS really quick. Let's CD to home, LS. Perfect. So now we're in that, if we do PWD, we can see that we're in home now, okay? So now let's go ahead and uh, change directory into a router, right? Or root, ER, or whatever you want to call it. So let's go root. 3R, do an LS. Now we have some uh, files in here. So now I can see a, what's, there's some stuff that looks interesting here, okay? 
we have something here that says dot root underscore password underscore SSH. That looks pretty interesting to me. And sudo as admin successful test dot uh, txt. So there is some stuff here. So let's go ahead and cat this bad boy out. Root underscore password underscore SSH dot txt. Okay, it's Willy 26. All right, so now let's. I want to copy this because I don't want to lose anything. Because with my luck, I'll start losing things and then I'll forget what I did. All right, so now we got, we got that. So that looks like it's an SSH password, all right, for root. So actually, let me put, uh, I think I just put that in here, I think. Yeah, so it looks like root is gonna probably gonna be a user and not password for SSH. But, you know, we don't know yet, right? So let's put shell. Let's create a shell really quick. Okay. Give this a moment. <coughs> All right. So what I want to do now really quick, I want to do something. Let's do it. Uh, Python capital C. And I want to import and I uh, have to actually find the actual uh, Let's Google that really quick. I always forget. Um, there's a, there's an actual import command that we can utilize for this. It's like import pty. Uh, let's just look. See if there's a. Here we go. This is it. All right. So. We have this right here. So import PTY bash. So this whole shebang right here, we can just copy, but I wanna go ahead and just type it in, all right? So uh, it's, it's gonna be import, and then import PTY, and what was it after that? Oh, crap. Okay, so it's PTY. Sorry, my typing is not the best. S P A W N. Yep. And then I want to do open parentheses. Uh, with a slash bin. S H. Uh, I want to do bin bash. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see if it's see what we can get here. All right, it may have not worked. Maybe because I think I think that's going to be a small c. This is why uh do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, let's uh, get this guy out of here. Come on. So now we have some interesting stuff here, right? So now let's do an LS. We can see uh, test.txt, okay? So now let's go ahead and uh, su to root. And the password is gonna be that willy, right? Uh, what was it, willy26? 26? 26. All right, so let's do an ls cd to root. ls proof.txt. Let's just cat that really quick. All right. 
You have successfully pawned me. I think we did it. That was pretty much it. So let's do PWD. Yeah, I'm in root. If config. Yeah, we can see everything on there. So we pretty much did it. That was it. We completed this mission. So thanks for checking me out. Please like, subscribe, share. If there's any of the boxes that you would like to see, we can definitely check it out together. But until next time, take care, guys. Thank you. This was a fun one.